did COVID-19 come from bad coronavirus RATG13? Did Wuhan Institute of Virology ever culture RATG13? The answer is no. To understand this, we need to know what RATG13 is. Well, the RATG13 is a viral sequence extracted from the biological sample collected from Mojiang County in southwest China's Yunnan province in 2013 by the Wuhan Institute of Virology team. Later in February 2020, researchers from the Wuhan Institute of Virology published an article in the journal Nature explaining the virus extracted from the bats called RATG13 was over 96% similar to SARS-CoV-2, the virus that caused the COVID-19 pandemic. The 96.2% genetic similarity of RATG13 might make it the closest virus to SARS-CoV-2. However, the two viruses are very different. Why? Viruses are very simple. They're basically just a shell of protein surrounding of some genetic material, either DNA or RNA. Take the SARS-CoV-2 as an example. It is one of the RNA viruses that have the largest GMOs. The GMOs are made up of molecules. The SARS-CoV-2 viruses contains around 3,000 molecules. Each molecule can be represented as a series of letters like this. Each part of the certain group of letters is a complex code that contains instructions for how to make one specific protein that allows the virus to function. The difference of 3.8% means that over 1,100 group of letters positioned differently. So the GMOs of RATG13 carried by bats and SARS-CoV-2 differ in 1,177 nucleotide positions, which would have taken a very long time to accumulate sufficient numbers of mutations through natural evolution. Shi Zheng Li, a virologist at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, told Science Magazine in July. She also said that means the possibility is extremely tiny that the mutations occur exactly in these 1,100 plus positions to be identical to SARS-CoV-2. Also, according to Edward Holmes, an expert in the virus evolution at the University of Sydney, the level of GMO sequence divergence between SARS-CoV-2 and RATG13 is equivalent to an average of 50 years and at least 20 years of evolutionary change. David Robertson, head of viral gymnotics and bioinformatics at the University of Glasgow, echoed Shi's view. In an interview with Xinhua, he said, that is too divergent for RATG13 to be the progenitor of SARS-CoV-2. The second question is, did Wuhan Institute of Virology culture RATG13? As Wang Yanyi, director of the Wuhan Institute of Virology, explained in an exclusive interview with CGTN, that's not the case. 可能很多人都会有一个误解，就认为呃，既然武汉病毒所报道了这个RATG13和新冠病毒基因组的相似性，那么你武汉病毒所就有这种病毒。但实际上不是这样的，就我们只是在对蝙蝠样本进行测序的